Alright, so I finally caught up with Louie at his bus, and boy, what a treat this has been. Uh, I got to look over it a little bit and check out the uh, mechanicals of it, and it seems like he bought a pretty good bus so far, and so uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour inside. Uh, Louie very kindly uh, opened the door and let me in, and we've been talking a little bit, so uh, here we go. Here's the outside of the bus. Come in. Welcome hey. to my house. What's up? <laughs> Look at this. Expedition bus. So, Louis, he bought this back in Mexico, correct? Yeah, so okay. Felix and Sally, um, they bought the bus as a school bus last year. I think a year ago, exactly. Okay. And then they uh, converted it. I think they had a bit of help. And they called it Expedition Happiness, their project. And they, they've made a movie, which I think they're releasing in Germany. But anyway, the end of that, which I think, I guess was the end of last year, they ended up raffling it off to some of their viewers. So this guy in Mexico won it as a raffle, like he won it. And then his name was Pablo. And then I found out, well, I was chatting to Felix, the original owner. It's quite a complicated story, but I was chatting to Felix, the original owner. I was like, oh, I'd love to have got your bus. And he's like, oh, you should buy it off Pablo. So and I flew down to Mexico and bought it and uh, drove all the way cool. back up from Cancun. Super cool. So cool, man. Yeah. Just like, I'm so excited to have a place that I feel like actually like my home. And I haven't had a home for like four or five years. So it's like <laughs> being able to invite people in and make them a cup of tea or whatever, yeah. like show them around. And yeah. it feels like really nice to be able to do that. So. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. So yeah, the craftsmanship is very nice. It looks really nice. They got this cool, um, these metal fixtures for the lights and the wooden countertops and they got a fridge and a bathroom right there um, little sink right there um, yeah just very nice and uh, you can tell they they really feel at home in here and yeah. it's very nice very very comfortable for for two people at least totally and then so. the next step what we might do is try and get a try and get a ladder maybe on the outside um, yeah, try and get on the, maybe a ladder on the outside and then have like a, a decking on the roof and we'll be able to go and hang out there and Super. when we're parked up we won't be riding on, on the roof whilst we're driving. But <laughs> should Super be, cool. Should well thank good. you so much for your tour of your bus. Uh, we're going to come back and uh, hopefully see you again sometime yeah, in the future. Yeah, totally man. Awesome. Totally. Hopefully awesome. you'll come to the, to the Live the Adventure Summit in November. Hopefully. It'll be so good to see you there. Yeah. yeah. See you. Cool. All right. Peace out guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, love so, uh, let me get this in focus here real quick. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to wipe this smile off my face for the rest of the evening because even though I didn't see Louie uh, in the whole hour I was waiting outside of his bus for him, I walked all the way back to my car and I thought, we'll give it one more shot. I'll, I'll drive by in my car and see if the lights are on or see if somebody's outside or something. Drive by, I see that the lights are on. I book it to a parking spot as fast as I could and then walked over. Um, they looked like they were kind of in the back, just kind of him and Raya just kind of hanging out. <laughs> um, but, uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm in focus. And so, uh, yeah, I just kind of looked over his bus, kind of gave it a once over and looked at all the mechanicals underneath and aside from like a few little leaks here and there uh, looked really sound and looked like uh, they would be on a, in a safe uh, space for uh, taking it up to Tahoe. Uh, aside from some tranny stuff that he was talking about, said it was kind of like slipping or something like that but we'll gloss over that. I can't really vouch for that because I didn't drive it or anything. But um, yeah, super very nice guy, um, very uh, hospitable even though he needed to get a ton of work done. Um, he's a whole day behind in editing his vlogs, so I'm um, just very honored and very uh, humbled that he would uh, take time out of his day to show me around and talk about stuff and possibly uh, see him at his next event in um, this little valley that he has going on. I can't really give much uh, detail away, but um, he will in his vlogs soon. So. Uh, it's just a super good ending to a great trip and uh, excited to go back up to Hume Lake. Cool. <laughs>